Uh, I'm great to be here to present our experiments on applying the deep reinforcement learning to the game 2048. And I'm Hong the first author of this paper. Uh, this pa uh, other contribution of this paper were the Professor Yi Chen Wu and uh, Ting Han Wei and Jun Bo Huang. So, <coughs> first I would like to give us short introduction of the 2048. 2048 is a single player puzzle game. The goal of this game is to merge the same tile and reach the tile of 2048. But uh, the player can still play again if the 2048 is already reached. And some research research shows that the temporal difference learning with the n type network is a good solution if you want to train a gameplay AI of this game. Uh, Mr. Oka uh, also gave us a great talk about how to select the feature of the entire network the day before yesterday. So, uh, uh, in our previous research on the 2048, we used the multi-stage temporal difference learning and we can reach the 6 by 5 3, 6 tile. But all of the previous results are done by the n type of network, but not the neural network. Neural network, uh, you know, has been widely used in many other games, especially <coughs> Go or some video games. We found that few people have successfully used the neural network to build the uh, AI of the 2048. Uh, their result cannot even reach the 2048 tile. So in our work, we just give it a try. We want to see how it will happen if we adapt the deep neural network in person learning instead of the n type of network on this game. We finally build an AI that can reach the 496 tile. So, but we still have another work to improve. Uh, here is the two reinforcement learning methods we use in our experiments. We use a Q-learning based network and a temporal difference learning based network. Here is a figure about the Q-learning network. Here is a 2048, a board of a 2048, and follow the input. So there are several convolutional layer, and followed by the fully kinetic layer, and finally the output. I will give you a detail next. And before we go into the detail, I have to define some terms. In 2048, there is a given board, so the player needs to select a proper action by a given, uh, of a given board. Uh, if the game is not finished, the given board, we call it before step, before the player performs an action. Uh, we can select a action, a video action to perform to the before state. And then we will receive a reward. So the gain state is now the after state. The after state <coughs> will, uh, a random tile will pop up automatically on the after state. So the after state will turn to another before state. Again, we'll go on and finally end up with the before state with no decoration, not get over. In our work, we use, uh, in next slides, we use S, S prime, S double prime, and S triple prime to present those states. So, uh, first, let me show you the Q learning network, the structure of our Q learning network. In the Q learning, we focus on the before state and its corresponding action. So here is the uh, state pair of the before state and mutation. Here is another. The structure of our curing network is this. So the input is the before state. Then the output of the network has four. The estimated score of the corresponding after state of each uh, action could be performed to the before state. 
So if we want to update our Q-learning network, we just play again and save the state action pair into the memory. So we got a state action pair. We can use the next state action pair, the Q of S double plug and A plug. The reward of this action and the dip, so we use the difference of length and the Q of S A. The blue. We use this value to update the value of the Q S A. Uh, the second network is the TD learning network. In TD learning, we focus on the after step. So it's more simple. It's more simple than the before state network because the input is an after state. So the output is the estimated score of the input state. When we want to update the TD learning network, we still play again and save the game state record in the memory. The next next after state, you can see the S triple plan, the red. And the difference of the this after state means the S plan. The difference between them can be used to update the value of the as plan. So our network structure is finished. Uh, the input channel, uh, we have 16 input channel for each board. In our experiment, we decode each board state into the 16 4 by 4 binary image. Each image represents a specific tile. For example, if there is a channel 0, represent the position of the empty grid. If there is a one means that the original board grid is an empty grid. And we use two kinds of convolutional filter in our experiment. First, we use the two by two, the, filter, the size of the kernel is two by two. In a two by two filter, if we input a 4x4 four four image, the output would be a 3x3 three three image. Another filter is the 3x3 three three filter. But we add the label padding to the image before we apply the filter. So the filter size, if after we apply the, so the image size after we apply the filter is still 4x4. Four four. And we'll apply another row padding to the next. Uh, here is our experiment. We perform on a machine uh, P5 and 4980 type graphical clock. And our network will implement using a cafe library. So we want to test the performance of our reinforcement learning and deep learning agent. So we prepared two other baseline agents. The first is a random agent that select an agent randomly. So uh, the second is the greedy agent. The greedy agent select an agent with the maxima reward that can receive. Due to the lack of machine, we only control the two parameters in our experience. The type of reinforcement learning uh, is to control the temporal difference learning network or the q network. And another is the size of the filter. It's a 2 by 2 filter or 3 by 3 filter with zero padding. Here is the network structure of using a 2 by 2 filter. Uh, when we are using a 2 by 2 filter, we use uh, three hidden layer, two convolutional layer, and followed by three type field linear unit, and one fully connected layer. Output is the four node for the estimated score of each after state. But if we use the temporal difference learning network, output is only one. For the three by three filter, the, there are four hidden layers. 
uh, we have three convolution layer in the stream by stream filter group, and still one fully connected layer here. So here's the result of our reinforcement deep reinforcement learning agent. You can see the <coughs> blue line and the <coughs> orange line. They are the baseline. The blue is the random baseline and the orange is the greedy baseline. And the gray line is the result of our deep Q learning agent. The yellow line is the result of our temporal defense learning agent. Uh, the temporal defense agent has a small probability to achieve uh, the 2048 and uh, 4096. So here's a training, the score of our training process. You can see the maximum score is brought to about 30,000 of the temporal difference learning. But the average score is still low. It can it cannot grow up. And the temporal defense learning in our experiment is more suitable for more suitable than the Q learning agent in this game. You can see that the green line is the, the score of the Q learning agent. Here is another graph with a 3 by 3 filter. The result is not good. Uh, we, uh, we think that the training process is not working very well. So here's our conclusion. Uh, we built an AI that can reach a 4096 tile and only have the 5.8 of the ring weight of this game. It's a very early attempt so we still have a lot of work to for improvement. For uh, we think that we need to redesign the network to take into account our rotational or uh, rotational or rotational symmetrics problem. Or we maybe need to try another network structure. We found that the process of the 2048 is too small, only four by four. So if we're using a 2 by 2 or 3 by 3 filter on this ball, uh, the same pattern means very different at the set, a different position. If we see this pattern, is the pattern is the same as this pattern. But the, this pattern, the big largest tile is at the center of the board. Like this, the largest tile is at the corner of the board. It is absolutely better than this. So we think that the traditional convolutional network may not suitable for a game such as 2048. We are trying another solution to develop another or some else network structure. Maybe a potential solution would be the combination of n table network and the deep learning. Okay, that's all. Thanks for your attention. Thanks very much for your presentation. Uh, and would be nice. Yeah. How much memory did this uh, double network take up? Oh, very small. I think only several meg. Uh, well, mostly just to store the two by two pattern. Yeah, uh, I forget so, that. But so why are you more bigger ones than two by three? Because the training time. Um, <laughs> like a machine. We have to reserve the GPU results for other applications. Like and you don't need stages for it. Yeah. Do you need stages for the, uh, the deep learning? No, not in this experiment. OK, but perhaps they will be needed. Mm, yeah. I saw some other fingers. Yes? Okay. Uh, you mentioned mm. about the 16 channel of image. Here is another research. We use the, uh, the temporal difference learning with the n typo network. Uh, uh, so you mentioned the uh, image with the 16 channels. Yeah. 
but not the neural network, the n type of network. Yeah. Uh, so the 16 does, does it mean that you apply the filter to each channel independently? Uh, could you repeat your question? Uh, so do you apply the 3 by 3 filter or 2 by 2 filter to each channel independently? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think it's better to consider to increase the dimension to the subject dimension to apply the two channels at the same time. Oh, okay. That, that means so if the one tile 64 is next to the 128, it's more important than the position is there. Thanks. I think, yeah, sure, do I have some point? No, no, after no. Other questions or comments? Yes? I'm just curious, can you give me as an outsider some intuition why adding more layers or to, euros? to a neural network, to a convolution network will oh, okay. work? Work or not work? Why it will be good to find solutions? Not the uh, So why are seven layers better than six layers? To help a little bit, because in the beginning at least it is okay if you increase with the layers, yes? Yeah. But his implicit question is in fact up to where? Hmm. <laughs> I can answer this question now. Uh, but maybe we are here together, maybe yeah. we have some guesses or some ideas, because mm -hmm. it is an interesting question, yes? Yeah. And if you started to think about it, then you could, I would say, have an extreme. And nowadays we have already neural networks with, uh, I would say, more than 1,000 layers, yes? Mm -hmm. And uh, so you could ask, is more than 10,000 also even improving or not? Yeah. At this moment, my answer, but this personal answer, would be no, yes? Mm -hmm. Now, that is, in fact, the extreme of his question. Yeah. I think one, <coughs> may, may I say? <coughs> yeah. One of the problems with neural networks is overtraining. Yeah. Yes. And when the network becomes too large and your training set does not increase, then you have this overtraining. So you need a balance. When you make the network larger, you also need more training instances. And of course, there's only a final number of positions on the 4 times 4 board, at least when you do not go beyond 65,000. So there should be a natural upper bound for yes. the exercise. Yes. Or even at the very end, you have fitted exactly all positions, like a table-based approach. Yes, that is an answer which I, I like to hear mm. and to think about, I would say that is. Okay, we are all thinking about it now. <laughs> uh, thank you again.